Next up, question three. So they tell us that we've got the first three terms of a arithmetic pattern, determine the value of x. So remember, when it's an arithmetic pattern, we can always say that term two minus term one is the same as term three minus term two. Remember, we've looked at that in previous lessons. So now we can just go forward in. So term two is x plus one, term one is two x, term 3 is 6 minus x and then term 2 I must put it in a bracket whenever you minus something that has more than one term you must put it in a bracket like that and so x plus 1 minus 2x equals to 6 minus x minus x minus 1 and now we just simplify so on the left hand side we end up with minus x plus 1 and on the right hand side you would end up with 5 minus 2x I'm then taking all the x's to the left all the numbers to the right and you would eventually find that x is equal to 4. Okay, so x equals 4. And then question 3.2 says, if x is 4, how many terms in the sequence add up to minus 575? So let's go full in x is 4, and so term 1 is 8, 5, and then 2. So we can definitely see that this is arithmetic, where we are minusing 3 each time. So they say, how many terms add up to minus 575? So we can now use the sum formula of an arithmetic pattern. And they said that the answer must be minus 575 equals to n over 2. We don't know what n is because we don't know how many terms. And then we can say 2. Now a is 8. n we don't know. And the common difference is minus 3. What some students do here is they don't put a bracket and then it looks like that and that can cause some problems So rather put it in a bracket like that Then there's multiple ways to solve this But what I like to do is I take this 2 and I multiply it across and that's going to give us negative 1150 equals to n and then inside the brackets you're going to get 16 actually that will become minus 3 n plus 3 and then I'm going to multiply the n into the bracket, so it'll become 16n minus 3n squared plus 3n. Now we're going to get a trinomial, so I'm going to take everything to the left-hand side, and then I make it equal to 0, and then we're going to get 3n squared minus 19n minus 1150 equals to 0. Then I would use the quadratic formula to work out n, and you guys know how to use the quadratic formula, so it would be n equals to minus 19 like that plus minus the square root and then you'd put minus 19 squared minus 4 and then a would have a value of 3 c would have a value of minus 1150 and then at the bottom you would have 2 times 3 and then you could go fill that all in and you'd find out that n is equal to 23 or n would be equal to negative 16.67. But now remember, n can't be negative, and so for that one we'll say no solution. And so therefore, n is 23.